Coming up next on NVIDIA 45 ACP, we'll be benchmarking the RX 580 video card. Alright, first things first, let's get these uh, 1050s out of here and get it ready for the RX 580. All right, now that that's installed, let's get the power cables in and we're good to go. All right, now that that's installed, right there it says RX 580. Let's find out what kind of memory it has, how much, all that good information. Right there it is. You guys feel free to pause the video and take a look at that so you know what we're dealing with. And again, this is for the Red Devil RX 580. I just bought, purchased from Newegg for $3.99. Alright, and now that we got all that information up there, let's do some benchmarking and stress testing. And the first one I'm going to bring up is called Time Spy by 3D Mark. And I've accelerated the video so you guys don't have to see her and watch everything. Let's see how that goes. Alright, looks like we're done. We scored 3540 on the score sheet and here's all the detailed information moving right along we have fire strike extreme let's see what our score is on that one All right, looks like we scored 4,985. And there's the rest of the information for you guys to compare as you wish. And the next benchmark we have is called Fire Strike Ultra. Let's see how that goes. Alright, now that we're done with the benchmark, looks like we scored 3,023. There's some technical information for you to compare to your own video card. All right, now that we got some benchmarks out of the way, let's do a stress test and see how stable it is on stock levels. It looks like it's 99.6% stable. Kind of figured that for stock, uh, a stock clock speed. So far, I am very impressed with the performance that this RX 580 has been given us, but time will tell. Okay, with all that cryptocurrency craze that's going on, let's go ahead and do some benchmarking on uh, NiceHash Crypto Miner. It is the easiest crypto mining software out there, in my personal opinion, of course. So let's just go ahead and download it, unzip it, and open it. And as you can see, it sets itself up pretty quick. And then we'll run some benchmarks and see how much money we can actually make by mining cryptocurrency. Alright, for those of you who don't know, hashing power is the um, processing power for crypto miners. So here's what my benchmarks gave me and I'll be sharing some overclocks as well. You guys feel free to let me know if you want some kind of daily, weekly, or maybe even as far out as a monthly update as far as how much money this card is making 
or maybe some other options such as cloud mining. I might get into some of that later on. All right, there's the stock speeds, 1380 and 2000, and then there's the overclock speeds, 1480 and 2250. So not too aggressive. So now that that's done, let's uh, go ahead and get this thing mining and see how much money we can make with an RX 580. Give it a couple minutes to spool up here. For those of you that are already in cryptocurrency, I'll drag this window over so you can see it. Hopefully it's not too blurry for you. All right, looks like we can get a whopping 60 cents a day right now. Again, this is the very beginning of April in 2018, so the main cryptocurrency is called Bitcoin, and it is down pretty far. It is about $7,000 today. So we'll take that into consideration. If all of a sudden it jumps or dives, you'll be making more or less. Because the main reason I like nice hash is because no matter which cryptocurrency you're mining, it will pay you in Bitcoin. And also at the bottom of the nice hash miner, you'll actually see how much Bitcoin per day or M Bitcoin that you will be making per day. So if you mine this all day, you're going to be getting 60 cents worth of Bitcoin paid out to a Bitcoin wallet of your choice. And you can set all this stuff up on your own. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to do this. I might actually be making some videos of my own with cryptocurrency. I have not yet decided if that's the direction I want to go or if I want to just stick with reviewing products. Let me know what you guys would rather see, if you'd rather see product reviews or if you'd rather see cryptocurrency updates. Be sure to comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and even hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Whatever it may be. <laughs> We just love being surprised. Alright, so to sum up this video, here's how much it would actually cost to uh, mine cryptocurrency and how much the RX 580 would give you in profits according to NiceHash's website. Feel free to log on there and uh, type in your video card and give it a try. All right, that does it for uh, today's video. I'll see you guys next time.